So if you're working within Google Sites, you may want to attach a document to one of the web pages in your site. And there are three ways that Google allows you to do that. You can either attach a document to the bottom of a web page the same way you would attach a document to an email. You can hyperlink a document into the text of a web page so someone can click it and open the document. Or you can actually embed a document directly into the web page the same way you would, let's say, with a YouTube video. So I'm going to show you all three of the ways and what they look like and their pros and cons. They all have various levels of difficulty, but each is good for a different purpose. So let's um, start off with attaching a document the way you would to an email. So the first thing you're going to want to do here is go to the page where you want to attach the document. And at the bottom of that page, you should see an icon that says Add Files. If you don't see that icon, you're going to want to go into Page Settings and make sure that the Allow Attachments box is checked. Now that, that icon should be enabled at the bottom. So now all you do is, just like you would with an email, you click on Add File. It opens up a file folder and you select the document you want to attach. And within a few seconds, the document shows up. So now anyone who wants to view the document can click on it, and it will actually open in Google's own um, document reader. And they can see it that way. Now the benefit of this, of course, is a very easy way to, to attach a document. It's no harder than attaching to an email. And the document is pretty obvious at the bottom of the page, so anyone who sees a document can click on it. But there are a few drawbacks to this. Uh, number one, it may not look as professional as you'd like to have just uh, documents dangling at the bottom of your web page. Secondly, if you're using a document that you update quite frequently, like a CV or a resume, uh, it's a, it's a you know, relatively multi-step process to go about updating that. Every time you create a new document, you have to end up deleting the document everywhere you have it attached, and then uploading a new copy of the document. So not tedious, but it's a multi-step process. So I want to show you another method, though, which gets around a few of those problems, and that's hyperlinking a document in, into the text. So in order to hyperlink a document, into the text of a web page. It's a, a multi-step process because first we have to generate a URL for the document and then we have to put that URL into a hyperlink so that people can just click on the text and open the document. So the first step is to generate the URL. So you're going to go to Manage Site and from Manage Site you're going to go into the Attachments folder. Once you're in the Attachments folder you're going to upload the document into this folder here, the same way you did to the web page itself. And once that document is here, it's actually stored in your uh, storage space in Google Sites. And once it's there, you can actually click on View, and it will actually show you the URL up here. So we're going to want to copy that URL. We can close this out. And now we're going to go back to the page that you want to edit. You go to edit. And now you're going to click the text that you want to install the hyperlink into and then click the chain link icon, which gives you the option of hyperlink. Paste the URL in there. And now you click OK. Let's save that. And now, anytime anyone wants to see that, they can click, here's my CV, and actually it opens up a document. Now, there are two pros to this method. It, of course, it's a little harder than the, the previous method, but it's worth it for two possible reasons. First of all, it may look more professional. If you um, don't want to have documents just dangling down here at the bottom, it might be more professional to actually have a hyperlink where someone can see a sentence that says, here's a document and you can actually click the document. And the second benefit is if you are using a document that you frequently um, update, it's actually a lot easier to update the document through here because if you notice, if you go back to the attachments folder and you click on this document, it gives you the option to replace the document or you can rename the document if you actually want to you know, rename it or whatever. Um, 
if you press replace, it'll ask you what document you want to replace it with. And every time you have that document hyperlinked in your website, it will change it everywhere that document is hyperlinked. So you don't have to do it manually uh, on every page that you have the document attached. So a little bit more difficult, but it might be worth your while for, for uh, certain situations. Now the last method is probably the hardest of the three methods, but it may be the most interesting and stylistically uh, good and solid of the methods. And that's embedding the document into the actual web page. Embedding a document into a web page is uh, stylistically one of the best options, but it's also the most difficult. It's a, it's a multi-step process, and you really need to be familiar not only with Google Sites, but a bit about Google Drive. For those who don't know what Google Drive is, it's Google's uh, free file storage service that they give to all Gmail users. They give, I think, five gigs of free storage, and then you can pay for additional storage. And the reason you need to be familiar with Google Drive in order to embed a document is that because Google Sites and Google Drive are owned by the same company, the only documents that you can actually embed into a Google Site are those that are converted to Google Docs proprietary format. So in order to do that, I uh, need to open up my Google Drive here, and I will click Upload Files, and I will select the file I want to embed. Next thing is very important is it's going to ask you if you want to convert your documents into Google Docs format. You need to do that if you want to embed the document. You can't just leave it as a DOCX in the case of a Word file or maybe ODF in the case of an open document or a LibreOffice document. So you will need to convert it. So start the upload. And while it's uploading, I should warn you that um, if your document is formatted, um, it, you know, heavily formatted, you probably want to make sure that after it's formatted in the Google Docs format that the formatting shows up correctly. Uh, while Google Documents have some fidelity with, with DocX formats or ODF formats, sometimes the formatting gets a little bit lost in translation. So I'm just going to open just to make sure that this the format is correct. Uh, yep, it's, it's correct. If it weren't correct, what I would do is I would just tinker with the formatting on um, Google Docs word processor here just to make sure the formatting looks decent. Well, now that's taken care of. I can go over to my Google site. And, of course, I'm in the, the page that I want to edit. And I'm going to want to put my cursor where I would like the um, embed to start. So where would I like the document to show up? That's where the cursor should be. And once I'm there, I'm going to go to Insert Document. And see, I have all my Google Docs here. And notice, it's only Google document format here. So none of my PDFs are showing up. None of my DOCX files are showing up. Only things I've converted to Google Docs format. So I'm going to check off the document that I want to put in. I'm going to mess with the settings here a little bit because I prefer about 450. I'm going to keep the width blank because it's 100% uh, width is fine. And I'm also going to take out the words draft 1 from the title. And you'll notice that uh, it appears as a, a blank block. And if I ever want to change the properties, I can do so here. It brings me back to that page. If for some reason I want to center it, I can do it that way. Uh, I can also wrap it around text if I wanted to do that. Or if I ever want to delete it, I can go there. So in order to, order to see what this looks like, press Save. And now you can see that just like if you were to embed a, a video, um, you can actually see the document. And you can even scroll the document, which is pretty convenient. It saves people from having to actually scroll down the actual page of the web page. Um, and unlike the other ways to attach a file, this one actually shows you the document on the page. So it's actually easier for the reader. It's more inviting for them to actually read the document rather than making sure they have to click on something in order to see the document. Of course, the downside is it is um, a little bit tedious to do. Uh, but I think that in terms of the visual, if you um, come to a point where you really want people to look at a document and make it as easy for them to do so, this is probably the best way to do it. So I hope I've given you a few different um, ideas about how to put documents on your web page. Like I said, all three have their pros and cons. 
and uh, you should do what you feel comfortable with and play around with different ones to see which one works for you.